folks uh, Gardner here uh, we're uh, we're in the garden and we're uh, we're gonna do some gardening uh, we're gonna have a little project um, I think you'll like this this is uh, I had to get out of the house folks I had to get out of there um, yeah so we're gonna get back at that project indoor project but we had to get outside um, we just had to get outside I mean you know <laughs> you know what I'm talking about um, so yeah we're gonna do this little project that I think you're gonna like this we're gonna just enjoy the outdoors and the uh, and the garden scene you know we're we're already pretty juiced up we're feeling good it's a beautiful mid-January day. It's a beautiful one. Um, you know, it started out cold and the sun's coming up. It's kind of cloudy, but um, everything is thawed, you know, everything is not frozen. And that's the key. And um, I'll show you uh, what our project is, but um, you know, I'm basically gonna build this, uh, this little plastic hoop house over top of this garden area. And um, I sowed some seeds a couple months ago and some of them seem like they're coming up and they're green and it's amazing. snow and it's cold it's been cold and these little seedlings are coming up and they're green and they're alive and they're viable and uh, if we put a, a plastic hoop over them and we get beautiful southern sun right through here all winter long it's just gonna heat up and ah uh, those guys are gonna you know they're gonna uh. <laughs> I love to see little baby seedlings grow, you know, um, and it's, it's food, it's lettuce, you know, lettuce, and it's so good for you. It's so much better than anything you can get in the grocery store, you know, um, you just, you know, it's, it's, and, and to have it in the middle of the winter, you know, I mean, this is gonna, this is gonna be fantastic. And, uh, and you, and you can rest assured that some of that beautiful fresh picked lettuce is going to go on a home smoked, home cured piece of sockeye salmon sliced on a homemade bagel with some cream cheese and some sliced red onion. Yeah, you can rest assured that that's gonna happen. <laughs> but uh, I don't think this project's gonna take us too long. And um, I'm pretty whooped. I mean, that indoor stuff is painful, folks. At least for me, it's it's physically painful. Uh, it's just not, I will, I will garden all day long, every day, all day, every day. Um, but that indoor action, whew. I don't know. That's got me whooped. And I mean, I got, I still got days in there, folks. So be on the lookout for part three, part four, part five, part six. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how long it takes. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're feeling good. You know, this is our little garden plot, really. I mean, everybody's got their little patch of ground you know and and everybody can do some gardening you know even indoors in a pot you know put some seedlings in a windowsill and grow some herbs or some you know whatever i mean that's that's gardening that's growing something out of the ground i mean if it's coming out of the ground and you're using it to uh improve your life and improve your health that's gardening and um so you know we're going to be gardening we're out in the garden today and you know, I mean, I just love plants. This is, oh, that's lavender. 
That's some lavender right there. And uh, we've got some oregano. Um, I don't know if I showed you that before. I just picked it. That that was that was over overflowing, folks. And I um, we just picked it and dried it. And uh, you might see a clip of that at some point, maybe in this video. <laughs> is uh that's a favorite it's got to be related to the lavender um but that one right there folks oh baby you know what that is <laughs> that's uh oh uh, that's an aromatic that's the old rosemary I mean, I think just the smell of it, smelling it, breathing it, that's healthy. Just the smell. I mean, it's got to be. But, I mean, you put this on, uh, we're going to be putting this on some steak or something, you know, uh, some sliced beef. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby. It's a powerful, powerful herb and hearty. Oh man. I mean, you know, most herbs are, you know, a lot of them are annuals. They're gonna die back in the winter time. Some of them will die back, but they'll come back. They're perennial, on the, you know, perennials. And, um, uh, and then, but rosemary is tough, you know? I mean, it just, it stays all winter. So, yeah, I mean that's when we're gonna start cooking some roast beef and some some ribeye maybe in the wood fired pizza oven with a little butter. Ooh, man, the bad girl, she's gonna be she's gonna be up for that. But oh man, I just want to sit here all day long, folks, and uh, I'm gonna hang out with you guys. You can hang out in the garden with me. I mean I, I mean yeah, we're gonna do some gardening, you know. But uh, just hanging out in the garden. I mean, that's gardening. And um, I hang out here all day long. I mean, I feel so, uh, feel so good. Um, yeah, you know I me. Mean? I'm an outdoor, I'm an outdoor dog. <laughs> Lily, she loves the outdoors too. My gosh. As long as, you know, she's got some sunshine and she's got a nice little bush to protect her from the wind and she'll just lay in that sunshine with that black coat nice and warm all day long if you let her. I mean, she, you know, she loves the outdoors, chasing squirrels and everything, you know, but, you know, obviously when we go in the back, I mean, it's shady, that's the north side and it gets cold back there and poor little girl, she'll be shivering, she, you know, she, she don't like that, she likes the sunshine. And that ought to tell you something, folks. I'm telling you, you can learn a lot from dogs. You know, they drink water and lots of it. They love sunshine and get as much of it as they can. They eat, <laughs> they eat meat. And, uh, you know, some people don't eat meat. And uh, me personally, I like meat. And um, it seems to be good for you, folks. Protein, baby, gives you good energy, good muscles, so you can do your gardening. And, uh, and of course, vegetables. Now, Lily is not all that into vegetables. Um, you know, you got to try to, you know, slip it in there and, and trick her. Like it's like feeding a little child. She just wants the meat. But she's a dog, and that's what they that's what they eat. But um, yeah, us uh, humans, you know, we're omnivores. We eat everything, and uh, everything has a benefit, you know. But herbs and lettuce and vegetables. And you know, but like I was saying, everybody's got their plot. 
and either small or large, you know, and you do what you can. And, and my little plot here is, is you know, it's small. <laughs> it's so small. I'm living the tiny, the micro cabin life. I would, uh, you know, I'd love to have a, you know, a big property and be able to really do some gardening, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm a gardener, you know, and, 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 and I'm a landscaper. I mean, that's my profession. I'm a, I'm a professional landscaper, you know? I'm a garden designer and installer and I, I maintain gardens and I, I build ponds and patios and, you know, uh, you know, stone walls or, you know, fire pits. Um, you know, whatever. Um, if it's out in the landscape, in the garden, if it's outdoors, I mean, you know, pergolas, uh, grapevine arbors, all that kind of stuff. Um, but you know, that's gardening, and uh, you know, in in the industry, it's more more or less called you know landscaping. You know, and so landscaping and gardening are are one and the same, yet a little bit different. You know, you can be a landscaper and not a gardener, or you could be a gardener and not a landscaper <laughs> i mean they do go hand in hand but uh you know gardeners are just people that hang out in the garden and they just experiment they try things they plant things they grow things stuff dies they plant something else they change it they just have a million plants going on they love plants that's they love plants and they love the soil i mean it's all about the soil the earth and most specifically is the compost i mean it is literally all about the compost folks you know um oh man it's that's a whole science you know the breakdown of the, the organic matter by the the microorganisms and bacteria and just it gets it reduces it down to uh humus and humus is just that that dark you know crumbly stuff that just you mix that with the soil and you know you can get anything to grow and um and that humus is amazing and once it gets to a certain point it it stays at that point it doesn't continue to break down really it can be in the ground i've dug up plants and uh you know the humus the dark matter is is still there after years and years and years you know and um and it's what it's what helps the soil and helps the plants it's what it's what causes the the plants to be able to absorb the nutrients out of the soil. I mean, it's critical, um, it's critical. So it's all about the compost and the soil and the plants and the water and the sunshine. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> there's a lot to it, folks. I mean, I honestly believe that gardening or the study of the plant kingdom, the plant world is infinite. You know, it's infinite. No one can know everything about plants and gardening and, you know, that sort of thing. The plant kingdom. You know, no one could know everything, you know. But, um, you know, we continue to learn and educate ourselves and, and uh, you know, grow. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, we like to grow as, as gardeners. And, uh, you know... But I know you're thinking, come on, gardener, let's, let's see some gardening. <laughs> so I'm gonna get to it.
Okay, folks. Um, like I said, I got a few things uh, growing in there, but uh, we're gonna try. Uh, we're gonna throw some some gourmet blend in there, and uh, why not some bok choy? <laughs> Okay, folks. Um, so we got uh, we got the bok choy. You know, like I said, uh, gardening is just uh, experimenting, you know, and trying stuff. And um, we're gonna. We're going to give this a try and see what happens. There she is. I think we got a chance. I think we got a chance. We get beautiful sunshine right, right in this spot. That's gonna get nice and warm. I, I just, um, a few months ago, put a whole fresh layer of topsoil. That's where I grow my tomatoes and everything else. So I've been cultivating and, you know, getting a leaf grow. Leaf grow is excellent. I don't know if you got that where you're at, but it's basically composted leaves. But it is uh, beautiful, dark, rich stuff. And uh, I've added lots and lots of that in here. And then um, and I did add a whole layer of uh, fresh topsoil and compost mix. And then I covered it with mulch a few months ago. And, you know, uh, we'll see how that works. Walk right out of that pokey shack, pick some fresh lettuce and some bok choy. <laughs> Put that on our salmon, smoked salmon bagel. Oh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be lovely. Um, so anyway, yeah, thanks for uh, joining us today. You know, we, we kind of spent the day outside, not the whole day, I mean, this didn't take long and I was out this morning, I mean, I'm, I'm out all day long. I mean, but anyway, point is, I had to get out of the house, folks. And I got myself out of the house and uh, into the garden where we belong. <laughs> That's where we want to be, in the garden. And, uh, I mean, we, we just have to, you know, prep the soil, sow the seeds, you know, do a little bit of this or that, or, you know, give things a little helping chance. But um, other than that, you know, it's, uh, it, they're on their own. They're, they're off to the races. You know, whatever magic happens between, you know, causing a seed to start absorbing water and putting down a root into the into the good soil and soaking up that sunshine and growing and turning into something that's uh you know beautiful and wonderful to uh, eat and um you know it's nutritious good for your health and uh, even just the act of gardening you know just getting in the soil getting your hands dirty and getting that sunshine and fresh air and water and you know just that is healthy i mean that is what we need folks I, i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna kid around here you know 
I mean, we've all been, we've all been there. We've all been cooped up inside, isolated, quarantined. Um, just, you know, weighed down and tied down by technology and, you know, watching videos or, you know, on our smartphones or, you know, all this technology and everything else. And it's fine. It's great. I mean, <laughs> I can't complain. I love it. It makes my, uh, it's, it makes the ability for me to share my art and my gardening and everything else to the world is is amazing. It's powerful, but um, you know it's got to be used, uh, you know, in uh, moderation, I guess. And I, it, the the thing is, you know, you just got to get outside. You got to get outside and get into the garden, and um, you know, for the overall health, for your overall health and well being, you know, you got to do it. So um, anyway, well, that's my uh, preaching on. Uh, the subject of gardening <laughs> straight from the mouth of uh the gardener you know i mean i'm not the gardener folks you know i'm just uh a lot of people just call me gardener <laughs> a uh a hey gardener yeah why don't you come over here and uh clean up these leaves or trim that bush or something would you and I'll be like, okay, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be right there. I'll be right there, folks, doing that garden. That's what I do. That's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we were meant to do. That's what we were made to do. Get into the ground, get into the soil, get into the plants, get into the outdoors, get that sunshine, get that fresh air, you know, and get into the garden. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to be too intense about this, folks. I'm trying to keep it lighthearted. This is for entertainment purposes only, as you can see. <laughs> it don't have to be perfect, and it's not going to be perfect. If it's perfect, it ain't art. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks a lot. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. Ring that bell, baby. Bing! <laughs> so you're notified whenever the garden is back in the garden. You know, you hear that bell ring on your phone and you're like, oh, the gardener is back in the garden. I'm just kidding. I mean, you, I mean I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I want you to do all that stuff. But um, only if you want to, you know. Um, but anyway, no, really, I hope you enjoy these videos. I'm, I'm really enjoying making them. This is, uh, this is a whole new outlet of my creativity. And I'm going to pursue it. And I'm going to try to be there. You know, I'm going to try to be consistent. And... Um, you know, wherever it takes us, you know, I, I know that uh, I'm all over the place, folks. I know that. <laughs> it's because I have a lot of interest. I got, you know, a lot of interest. And I don't want to neglect any of them. I mean, between cooking and gardening and landscaping and, you know, pokey shack pizza making and projects. You know, projects are, you know, important. That's what we do. We do projects. And, um... But anyway, um, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna stop rambling, and um, we, we got a good one in store for you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah we're going, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're going to visit the master gardener tomorrow, Jack. You're gonna see some gardening tomorrow. We're going to the guru, the sensei, and uh, we're gonna get into the garden tomorrow, folks. <laughs> You're gonna enjoy that. So anyway, until. The next time we meet in the garden, which will be probably tomorrow. <laughs> because we're in the garden every day of our lives, folks. We got to be. But anyway, no, seriously, I got to wrap this up. So um, anyway, I'm going to throw this together, throw it up there for you. Make sure you like and subscribe and tell your friends. And I will see you next time in the garden.